okay we're doing this <laughs> um i don't really have anything funny to say at the beginning i just want you to just give me the grace of this video being bad please because you know i'm not doing all right hello everyone i'm monica and welcome back to my channel when you read where i talk about books and things and today i i'm gonna be honest with you i'm filming this on a whim um because i haven't been doing that well i i know that you don't come here to hear about my woes and and things like that you come here to hear about books and don't worry there will be books there will be books and there will be a timestamp if you want to skip to that section of the video and not listen to this part but um as many of you know um i have to deal with uh m mental disorders or um yeah i basically uh my official diagnosis i don't want to share with you because it's 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 not anything to do with books um but just know that i do suffer from depression that is something that happens and um last year i made a video where i talked about my uncle passing from covid i didn't make a video about the fact that um, I lost four more family members, not all to COVID, but um, most due to COVID. And I've been battling with that, along with battling um, infertility. So I haven't been okay for a while. And I talked to my doctor the other day and I realized that I just pretend to be okay most of the times but really i am so sad and i'm not even sad most of the times most of the times i'm just so empty i feel empty i feel i feel like i don't enjoy doing the things i used to enjoy that's kind of why i stopped doing three videos a week i just couldn't handle the idea of filming three videos a week when i just i i i could barely dress myself and brush my teeth in the morning and i'm sure i'm not the only one and i'm not alone in this um world that suffers from depression and you know what i wanted to make a video where we bring together <laughs> this um issue and books because in the end books are my way out and sometimes, like right now, I was reading books that I was just reading books to follow readathons and things. And I realized that this is not the time for that. This is the time for me to read comforting reads that I know that I can get through and that I feel that are going to make me feel okay. So, this is the part that you've been waiting for. Um, if you are going through a hard time right now and you still want to read because it's an escape and it feels good to read you know but you don't know what to read i've got some recommendations for you some of them are sci-fi but actually most of them are not so let's get started let's get started with a sci-fi the first one is and i i didn't want to include this because i feel like everybody talks about these books and i don't like talking about things that are being talked about all the time because then what's the point of coming to my channel but i have to mention the long way to a small angry planet um and all the consequent books that follow this series this is um a series where you can read the books individually my favorite book is the record of a spaceborn few i probably wouldn't read this right now because um it deals a lot with family like actual family and i don't think i can deal with that right now but the long way to a small angry planet is a feel-good sci-fi it makes you feel good it makes you happy and um yeah it's it's really gentle and if you're really wanting to start with sci-fi this is a good way to go and if you're not feeling that great <laughs> reading this book is like a warm hug from the inside so i definitely recommend a long way to a small angry planet by becky chambers i'm just picking these up like in the order that i have them down here i don't have them in any order so i just have here the madness uh a madness so discreet by mindy mcginnis now i will throw out there that this does have a um trigger warning for sexual assault and also a trigger warning for suicide and a trigger warning for um miscarriage 
Uh, I know that sounds like Maya. Are you really recommending a book about all of these things to people that are not feeling that great? Yes, because of the way that it's handled. Um, this book features, I think, one of the only group of female characters that I consider are really good friends. They love each other. They help each other through their trauma. You know, they help each other heal from traumatic events. And there is no, um, she's prettier than me, we're pining for the same guy. None of that. None of that is in this book. All that you see in this book is women helping women overcome horrible situations. It's so beautiful. It's really um, underappreciated. I have never seen anybody talk about this. I remember it kind of made a dent in the booktube sphere when it came out, but then it kind of fizzled out. I guess because there's no romance in it. Yeah, there's no romance in it because, you know, sometimes when, sometimes, not always, but when you're healing from certain things, romance is not the way to go. But yeah, um, this is a, the story of a woman, I, I think her name is Elizabeth, because of course, no, Grace, Grace, cat, we're just gonna ignore the cat. <laughs> Grace, um, she is uh, a victim of incest and she's sent to a an asylum for her to have the baby so that people don't know what happened and there she meets a wonderful man a wonderful group of women and they become friends and grace finds her will to live again and she even finds her voice now the next book i have i have solely because it made me laugh and that is good omens by neil gaiman and terry pratchett this book is just a funny book about the end of the world <laughs> and funnily enough I read this when I was going through a much bigger bout of depression and it made me laugh and I think that that's so important um, yeah this is a story about a demon and an angel the angel might have a little bit of mischief to him and the demon might be a little bit good on the inside and they have misplaced the Antichrist <laughs> <laughs> and they have to look for him to stop Armageddon and it's it's a funny story it's a sweet story and 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 it's just I, I want to say this book is gentle it's gentle with the reader and it just makes you like feel good I guess it makes you happy and the relationship between the angel and the demon uh, I'm not gonna try to say the angel's name because I'm gonna butcher it uh, makes makes for a really good story it makes you feel good inside and i just think that this is a great book if you're going through stuff to um you know not force yourself to read i was tempted to include like books that i read when i'm feeling down but i realized that sometimes what i read when i'm feeling down is things that will make me feel even more sad um, I know we all do this like you listen to sad music when you're sad But I don't want that for you because you know, it's not that I don't want you to feel your feelings But maybe listening maybe reading a book for for days that is just gonna make you sad It's not a good idea. This book is not gonna make you sad. It's gonna make you laugh and it's gonna remind you that Even when the world is ending people care about you And I think that that's really important. Okay one that I have here that um, again I don't see many people talking about is um, Watch Over Me by Nina LaCour. Now I've talked about this book before again I don't want to be too repetitive but this book is about a girl named Mila. Mila uh, basically aged out of the foster care system and she gets taken to a farm. Um, this farm is basically like an, an idyllic place uh, where these people with money um adopt children or they give them jobs um f you know to go from the foster system to having a, a, a family and you know the children after you know after they're 18 19 um they become tutors to the other children that live in the house and yeah it's a really beautiful story there are ghosts in here but the ghosts are metaphors I don't think that that's a spoiler. I mean, it's pretty obvious from the moment you see that everybody sees the ghosts. Um, and you just learn that no matter how hard it is, no matter how hard it gets, 
you can do this you can do this and things are gonna be okay that's that's the theme of my haul <laughs> like things are gonna be okay and this does um, deal with PTSD so if you are somebody that's going through that and you want to read about somebody going through PTSD and I think it was done in a really like um, a really respectful way I think that this is a book for you gosh I'm gonna be honest with you I'm like really scared to post this video because I'm being really, like really raw and like my emotions are like I don't know I if you see this video um, let me know like let me know how you feel about people being honest about mental health and stuff on booktube but yeah going off of watch over me I think nowhere on earth by Nick Lake which is also a soft sci-fi is a great book to read um, when you're feeling down because again um, it it's, it's a reminder that no matter how alone you feel, you really aren't alone. That's just your mind and, and yourself convincing yourself that you are alone. But really, you, wor you are worth so much. And maybe sometimes we're scared to open up to the right people because we think that they're going to judge us or that they're not going to believe us or something. And this book deals with all of that. I think this is a wonderful book. This is a book about a young woman who feels really disconnected from her parents, from her life. She's going through some stuff at school and one day she finds an alien and she makes her, she makes it her mission to send him home. And along the way, she realizes that maybe her parents aren't as bad as she thinks they are. I'm not saying that, you know, let's 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 put the caveat that sometimes parents are bad but in this case they're not and that she does have the ability to make friends and that she really isn't alone in the universe i think it's a really nice way to like say we're not alone in the universe because there's aliens but also she's not alone because she isn't alone she just has to speak up and um be heard so it's a beautiful book. I really recommend it. Now, here's another one that made me smile. Like, I think the next two are books that made me smile. Actually, the next three. Um, the Disasters by M.K. England. This is a sci-fi. This is more of a hard sci-fi. So, like, and it's kind of a space opera. But it's a YA space opera. And it features a character. Ooh. Here's my little note from the person that gave it to me. You know who you are. <laughs> um, it, this is a story about a group of wash-ups from uh, the prestigious uh, space academy that they wanted to be a part of. And they all have their things. Um, there's anxiety representation. There is um, there's just a bisexual representation, homosexual representation. But you know what? What this book has overall it's a great time <laughs> these guys make such a great group um, I think this like subverses the genre a little bit you know like that whole like oh my god we almost died let's kiss like they don't do that on the contrary they're like whoa not the moment you know and it's just a fun book and I feel like maybe if you're feeling down you want to read something fun and exciting and and to remember, yeah, to remember that life is fun and exciting, even if we're not, you know, being chased by the space police. <laughs> and, you know, it's it's nice to know that regardless of your intelligence or, or, or whatever, you can still have hardships. Because I think that there's this idea that it, the more intelligent you are or the more, like, talented at stuff you are the more like you are and the more and like the least likely you are to have any problems this book says otherwise and i really enjoyed that all right i'm gonna go with the last uh fiction book that i have and that is project hail mary by andy weir now you all know that i just recently read project hail mary by andy weir and i really really loved it i loved um I loved the main character and I loved his struggle, his 
um, mental struggles with what's going on. I love how he accepts his fate and at the same time never loses hope that there might be something more. And I just really think that this book made me laugh. I, there were parts where I was just like laughing out loud and again, sometimes if you want to read sad books when you're sad, I understand, but personally, I don't want to read sad books when I'm sad, especially when I'm this level of sad where, you know, getting out of bed in the morning has been hard. Like, I'm not gonna lie, I got out of bed today at 1 p.m. and the only reason I did was because my husband's coming home at 3 and I don't want him to find me in bed because he's gonna get really, like, worried about me. So, enough of that. Project Hail Mary by Andy Weir tells the story of this um, science teacher who finds himself in a um, spaceship heading towards somewhere, not in our galaxy, and he doesn't know why he's there, and you get to find out with him. And it's a great story, and I just think it's a lot of fun. Andy Weir is a lot of fun. I recommend this over the Martian for the fun aspect, because I think that the character Grace, his name is his name is something Grace, but I always call him Grace, um, is such a hopeful person. Hopeful. For, I mean, Mark Watney is completely hopeful, but Mark Watney is hopeful in a way where he's like, I'm gonna science this, I'm gonna do it. Instead, this guy's like, I think I can, I probably do something. And I, I mean, how many of us have felt that way sometimes? Like. I don't know what I'm doing, but I'm gonna try. So um, I think that that <laughs> qualifies <laughs> Project Hail Mary for this, I don't know, book recommendation. Now I have two books here that might not be your cup of tea because they're nonfiction, but they're nonfiction that really helped me. So maybe if you have wanted to get to nonfiction, it'll help you. And you all know, you all know if you've been with me for a while, I suffer from thalassophobia, which is extreme fear of fish. Or, um, yeah, fish and anything that swims, basically. And I have here two books. One of them is The Soul of an Octopus by Cy Montgomery. This book just blew my mind. I This is one of my favorite books of all time. This tells the story about how Cy Montgomery, a journalist, meets octopus. You know it's octopuses, not octopi. So she meets octopuses and she realizes their intelligence, their, I don't know, emotions, their ability to feel love, compassion, um, their whimsy, and it's just a lovely read for somebody that Again, it just makes you remember that you're not alone and that the least likely presence, because I, you know, it's not a person, but the least likely thing can help you realize how beautiful life is. I don't, I don't know how, much, how else to put it. This is just a memoir of her and and finding out more about octopuses and i just think it's really beautiful and if you are wanting to read um a um what's it called <laughs> non-fiction that reads like fiction or that reads like a story more than like like just facts then this one's it and along with that i have spying on whales um uh, by nick pison this story made me really realize how not alone we are in this planet, how we don't realize how important certain things are, including our connection to nature, connection to other animals. Again, this is just like um, this book. It's just finding out more about animals and that brings me peace. That, may, that brings me joy. I'm, I'm an animal lover. Maybe if you're not an animal lover, this would not be for you. But yeah, it's a gentle book. It's a soft book. There's a lot of science in it that I didn't understand. But I do understand whales loving other whales and wanting to survive. 
and wanting to be free. Who doesn't love that? All right, those are the books that I would recommend that you read if you're feeling down right now. And if you are, don't be scared to reach out to me. Um, I am always available um, on my comments, uh, my Twitter, which is always linked in the description box. And yeah, I hope you have a wonderful day. Filming this has made me feel better because I feel that I have accomplished something for today. And I'll see you in another galaxy far, far away. Bye.